Morning, Trainiacs. This is day four, five, fifth day in San Francisco. Moved into the city because we switch from the Purple Patch Fitness training camp to just general triathlon tear and work. But before we get into work, it's a recovery ride right now. There's hills here. So we're headed to go see Laurence Delisle for a teeny tiny little recovery workout. I wanted to see what a purple patch recovery workout is. And coincidentally, here in Uber with Jordan. What's going on guys? Just about to start his YouTube channel. What's it gonna be called? Uh, Jordan. I don't know yet, cause he's gonna be with another person. So we gotta figure out what we're gonna do together. You know, it's gonna be a team effort. Okay, go check him out. It shouldn't be hard, there's only like 10 million YouTube channels, but Jordan, <laughs> just search for Jordan something. That's right, or you can see my Instagram right now with my photography work at Jordan's Visuals. That's J R D N S dot B I Z L S. You're gonna be so famous, man. Yeah, <laughs> right on. Do you, assuming that's, do you feel professional? Though? I feel so professional. Good, because that's rolling. How was oh, that ride? It was awesome. How was it for you? It was good. Yeah. It was good. That was a good, good ride on the Bay Bridge. Are you excited? Going Bay Bridge? No, maybe? Bay Bridge is the other one. <laughs> it's going to be a great podcast. Can you speak any other languages? And I said, yes, I can speak whale. And I did the whole Dory impression, and I was like, oh no! And then he was like, what in the world? And I was just like so excited. And we crushed that. <sighs> we crushed it. Crushed it. Felt yeah. good. Yep. What was that? Hour 05? You're on camera, by the way. Oh. Huh? Oh, oh stop. <laughs> I should do the back, so he goes like this. Back. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good podcast. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Commuting by bike in San Francisco is hard. You know what's even worse? Doing it twice to set you up so that I could come back. Heading over to Matt Dixon and his wife Kelly McMaster's house, which I have been referring to as the Dick Masters. Business. Stop shifting. They're hills. Get over it. On the bright side, this isn't bad. It's kind of a decent view. Check it out. You ready? Mm -hmm. Excited? Mm -hmm. Grab a seat. Hey, what's up everyone? Triathlon Taryn here with special guest. But he's me. Matt Dixon, the head coach of Purple Patch Fitness, who's been kicking my ass up and down the hills of, uh, where were we? Marin County, is that what you Marin call it? Marin County. In that bunch of 25s yesterday, I was convinced that you were pouring cement into my, my lats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one last question here that I, I think uh, is really good. Um, because a lot of the people here have never used a coach and are kind of just in, introduced to it by me here at the camp, um, me talking about things that I've experienced with my coach and haven't yet got a coach, at what point should athletes start thinking about a coach? It's a, it's a great question. Look, I think that, <laughs> and I hate to say the answer is it depends. Uh, I, I, let me first say something about coaching. I think that I'm not the right coach for everyone. I, I think it's important, similar to if someone's buying a car, it's really worth, uh, test driving, talking to a, a host of coaches and seeing what resonates with you, what, what so far as their methodology, their personality, their culture, and if you can get any insight into 
what their sort of culture they create with their athletes are, are is this my tribe? Because I think community is a great part of coaching. You can have singular one-to-one -one relationship, but you know, I, I mentioned earlier, I'm, I'm relatively collaborative and I'm still a strong personality, I know, but I'm not just, hey, do it because I told you to say so. Some coaches are like that and they might be the right coach for some athletes. So the first thing, do some shopping. The time to do it, um, I think it's, I, I, I don't think it is just about, oh, I've done a few triathlons and now I want to go to the next level. I think it's, it, my lens on this sport, sporting globally is, if we can successfully integrate this into sport into life, get the recipe right for you, yes, you're going to improve, but more importantly, you're going to get the health benefits, the better energy at work, and the best version of yourself for your friends and your family. That's a utopia. And so if you're struggling with the global recipe, integrating training, having a path and direction, staying healthy, that's the time that you want to collaborate with someone. And, and when you approach a coaching relationship, it's not just to, imp just to get faster, but it should be about getting an education. And so I always joke, if I can make myself irrelevant, I've done my job. And so if you work with me for a year, and after a year you say, well, I know how to self-manage, I know how to do this, I can utilize your programming and, uh, and go and do it on my own, I've succeeded in many ways. And, and of course, what happens is the relationship evolves and it grows and it morphs. Um, and why long-term relationships are great. But yeah, I think that any time an athlete is, is looking to go to the next level of life, <laughs> in many ways, a coach, the right coach for them is a great investment. It was a very interesting uh, weekend that I spent here, so thanks for having me out. I Thank appreciate you for coming, that. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you, uh, yeah. you had some devilish looks there. Well, this one is, I don't like to give compliments unless they're earned. You gave zero. Yes, I gave, <laughs> this one's a good athlete and uh, swimmer, cyclist and runner. Oh, You're uh, oh, very stop. intuitive. No, oh, it's uh, a great addition to the camp. So thank you for coming. Well, thanks, for, thanks for having me. Uh, I'm back. Sometimes on a 20% gradient, you just gotta say bikes can be made for walking too. So Traniacs, that was a tip to tail, morning till early evening, jam-packed day. Something that uh, I thought about while Matt was talking there was, he talked about how community is so important. I've talked about that on and on, but today really shows like triathlon, you get to meet some of the nicest people. Laurence, so nice. Matt, his wife Kelly, so, so nice. Very cool stuff. Go out, do more tries, and uh, I really hope that I can see you tomorrow after getting all around these hills. So if you aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button below. If you are subscribed and you've been digging me getting out of the pain cave in Winnipeg, hit the like button. And uh, if you like long form interview podcasts with really nice people like Laurence, like Matt, go check out the Triathlon Terran podcast that Matt has been on and Laurence will be on. It is the most reviewed triathlon podcast in the world. Would you believe I'm gassed after three days of Matt kicking my ass all around Marin County? I'm gassed from commuting by bike. I'll see you, Traniacs.